welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing some more treats and these treats I've actually made before but I made them like as a gift for somebody else so I didn't try them for myself and I would really like to do that. So today we're going to be trying these, uh, what are they called? Carrot oat applesauce treats for dogs and horses. So I'm actually going to upload this to both of my channels because I know not all of you watch both my channels. Um, and so you'll be able to see it whichever one you watch. So these um, are super, super simple. There's only four ingredients in these. So um, yeah, let's see what we're going to need. Applesauce, unsweetened is what the recipe calls for, but I don't think it really matters that much. So I'm just using the cinnamon kind because I have it in my fridge. Carrots, oats, and flour. So yeah, super simple, probably everything you already have in your pantry already. It doesn't say what your oven should be at, so I'm just going to put it at 350, which will probably be fine. Alright, so this recipe uses shredded carrot, so you're going to need to shred half a cup of your carrots. So I'm going to go ahead and do that with my little shredder thing here. This will be a lot easier if you have large carrots, but I don't, so we're just going to use the small ones. Alright, I just finished the carrot. That did take a while, unfortunately, but so I would recommend doing that first or the night before or something. Like I said, it'd be easier if I had large carrots, but so um, yeah, it's supposed to be finely grated also. That's why it took a little longer. So half a cup of that and then half a cup of applesauce. A little more than half a cup, but oh well. Half a cup of quick oats. Um, it recommends the old fashioned style oats, which luckily I have. So the old fashioned ones. The old fashioned ones are really just more like whole original form oats. They're not like chopped up or ground or anything like that. But honestly, just use what you have. I don't think it matters really. About half a cup of that and half a cup of flour. So this isn't going to make like a huge batch or anything. So you can always double the batch if you like to make your, all your own treats and stuff. Alright. So I got everything in my bowl. It actually does say, now that I'm re looking at the recipe, that your oven is supposed to be at 350. So... Mix the ingredients in a bowl. So, this is what we got. Don't know if you guys can see that, but hopefully you can. So I'm just gonna mix this up. I'm gonna add just a little bit more flour because I added a bit too much of applesauce. So it's pretty wet. So that's what it looks like. It's pretty wet and sticky. Use a tablespoon to drop clumps of the mixture onto a baking tray. Cook for 18 to 20 minutes. So I'm gonna use one of these things. They've been in here for 20 minutes, so they should be pretty much done. Ooh, they look nice and crispy. So this is what they look like. Um, the recipe actually said if you use steel cut oats, they'll look a little bit nicer than the, you know, chunky old fashioned oats. But I'm going to let these cool and let them harden up a bit and then we will do the taste test. So these treats do turn out more of a spongy, soft um, texture. They're not like a biscuit or anything like that. 
but if you're on my personal channel you do know that Chaz like doesn't have a lot of teeth so these will be good for him but before I leave let's see if a Baxter likes them hey dude look out let me come in I need to get you some water don't I I will get you some water come here come here okay sit 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 good boy what was that? Eat that. What? Do you not like it? You don't want it? Did he eat it? I think he might have eaten it. <laughs> he didn't want it at first though. Are you going to eat it? Did you swallow it whole? What that one? Okay, he ate it, but he wasn't too sure about it. Eat it! Finish it! Do you not like this one? Eat it. Okay. <laughs> He's like, okay, fine, I'll eat it if I have to, but do you not really like that one? All right, well, this isn't off to a good start. This wasn't Tard's favorite. Here, I brought you a bone. Yeah. <laughs> good boy. We'll go for a walk maybe later. It's nice out today. All right, let's see if Tony likes them. Hopefully she does. They came out very orange. I don't know if you can tell in the camera or not, but they are quite orange. Hmm? Huh? You want one? Huh? You can eat it. Eat it. Eat it. You don't like it? You don't want it? Here. Eat it. Let's see if she'll eat it. She wasn't very interested at first. Oh, come on. Eat them. I don't want them to go to waste. Eat it. Get it. Get it. Eat it. I don't think they like the texture of it. Because they're spongier. Oh, okay. You ate that one. How about that one? Alright. Good girl. Well, she kind of did the same thing Baxter did. Only ate it because I made her eat it. But let's see if the horses like them. Because at least if they like them, they won't be a total waste. All right, I got a couple of the treats in each bucket, so I'm just gonna set these out for the horses quick. Look out, kitty. Alright guys, do you like them? Oh, Soccer ate his. And Sugar ate hers, so the horses like them, so that's good. Because <laughs> if the dogs don't like them, then the horses will eat them at least. What you doing baby kitty? What you doing? You want one of these? You want it? Ready? Get it! Are you gonna eat it? <laughs> Do you want me to break it so it's a smaller piece? Like, uh, no mom, I got it. We'll see if he eats it. Looks like he's eating it. <laughs> All right, well, it looks like Chaz likes it better than the other dogs did, so. So I would give these treats a three out of five, I guess, because the horses and Chaz liked them, but Tony and Baxter didn't really seem to like them. I think they only ate them because I told them to eat it off the ground and not to spit it out, but they spit it out a couple times, so I feel like if I didn't make them eat it, they probably would have just left it there. So 
I don't know, I guess if your dog is a little more picky or likes things that are more meaty or like a cheese flavor, then they probably wouldn't like these as much, but the horses liked them, so they make good horse treats. So I guess it just depends on your dog, because Chaz is over there eating his, so. Um, yeah, so this was fun to make. Um, I'll make them for the horses again, I guess, in the future, but not for Baxter or Tony, probably, so. Uh, let me know what you guys think down below. Let me know if you tried this recipe, how your animals liked it, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!